gang violence and other kind of violence. What's good, Shadow Realm? It's a Black Gen Z mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Shelby County lands a homeowner behind bars and a handful of suspects free after they allegedly tried to steal his car. Mm. Action News 5 Stephanie Douglas joins us now live with why the homeowner is facing charges tonight. Stephanie? Wow. So you heard it correctly. Man being robbed defends himself. The suspects, which are super gremlins, on demon time are let go and the victim is being charged yeah good evening guys well according to court documents the homeowner 40 year old victor lunas told shelby county deputies he confronted the suspects in his driveway but shooting at them with his eyes closed because he said he was scared unfortunately mm. some of those bullets went through his neighbor's house just across the street. Saturday night on Blue Lake Lane, just after 12.30 a.m. I just finished taking a shower and I heard what sound like um, fireworks. This unidentified neighbor heard a shootout that broke out with Victor Luna across the street and five accused thieves who were reportedly trying to steal Luna's 2015 Jeep Cherokee. Mm. Shelby County deputies say the suspects took off without the Jeep. Luna's wife told me she was told the bullets from Luna's gun went through several of her neighbor's walls and garage. It was frightening and just the fact that it had traveled so far because, I mean, the house is all the way across the street and for that bullet to have gone that far and still had that much strength, I don't even know how to describe that. According to Shelby County Sheriff's Department, investigators recovered nearly 30 bullets along with several key fob programmers that the suspects left on the front seat of the Jeep. Mm. So it looks like they were bussing back. Uh, oh. <sighs> I, I mean, I get he probably was recklessly shooting at them but to charge this man i it, it just seems wrong luna's wife along with their three daughters were home at the time their house was shot too he told us like okay yeah i was nervous i wasn't trying to kill nobody i was trying to keep my life and my my family's life safe deputies say no one was hit by gunfire just property one of luna's neighbors say learning gun safety is essential i mean you protect but i think maybe you need to get some gun training uh, <laughs> i'm not a gun person and i think that i probably would do the same thing because i you know um it's frightening the, the face to face to be face to face with the stuff going on mm. now that night luna's was arrested and charged with reckless endangerment with a deadly weapon. He appear, appeared in court this morning, but right now he's waiting for his case to be rescheduled for a different date. Reporting live in Memphis, Stephanie Douglas, Action News 5. Surface announcement time and time again. We all may have heard it around town, in fact, but for tonight, it may have new meaning for many of you. Good evening, everyone. I'm Darcy Thomas. I'm Daryl Green. You've probably heard the message. You've probably seen the billboards all around Memphis. I mean, this campaign designed to curb violence has been going on for a couple of years now. Well, tonight, the man behind those messages believes that they are also relevant to Grizzly star John Morant, mm. who once again finds himself in trouble because of a video of him with a gun. Uh -oh. Fox 13's Dominique Dillon is live outside FedEx Forum. Dominique, you know, we've been talking with people in the community since the latest story about job broke yesterday. So what concerns did they say they have? So we're talking about Ja Morant and by the way, she coped. And this one is very disappointing. We have reprimanded Ja Morant before on this channel. We've addressed him. We've held him to the highest degree of accountability. He apologized for his actions. He was held responsible for his actions um, by the Memphis Grizzlies. 
However, the punishment was not severe enough, apparently. Okay, and if you guys need to brush up on all of the incidents that he's been involved in, um, one of the incidents involved him bringing a crew or gang members to the finish line to threaten and intimidate a, an employee who got into it with his mama. And by the way, yes, his mama called the dogs on that employee. Another incident was where he was playing pickup ball with a younger ball player in the Memphis area who's pretty well known. And they got into a scuffle and he beat the guy up and pulled a firearm on him at his residence. <clears throat> okay. So and then one of the other incidences he was uh I, they had played a game versus the Indi uh Indiana what is it? Indiana Pacers. And for some reason they were jaw jacking and at the end of the game John ja Morant gets into a vehicle where he uses some type of weapon with a laser pointer at the end of the barrel to aim or scope out the Pacers bus which is a direct threat that he was not sufficiently punished for so with all these things and with his track record it's safe to say that Ja Morant is a super athletic gremlin on demon time. Well, people have a lot of opinions about Ja's recent actions, but a big concern for some is how his actions, well, others look up to him and how that may affect their decision making as well. My first thoughts was it was a joke. It could not, this could not possibly be real. <laughs> but for the second time in about two months, Grizzly star guard John Morant really was captured. And, and I'm sorry, I'm not surprised, and I don't know how other people in the community are surprised. <clears throat> we were all rooting for him. We all wanted him to make the right decision. But he just can't. He's incapable of making the right decision. And I'm not even going to say that he's just an idiot and he's stupid which plenty of people have said it and y'all can continue to say it in the comments but he's just careless he's apathetic about truly being successful because hanging out with these guys these low lowlifes okay these POS's <clears throat> how does this benefit your life all it's doing is negatively affecting your life. And the kids are indeed looking up to Ja. And, you know, we see Mikey Williams, another um, brother who is caught up right now. And he's actually going to Memphis University. Um, and I believe he's going to be coached by Penny Hardaway, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but he he's a guy who looks up to Ja. And I believe they've had some interactions before. And maybe Ja is trying to outdo Mikey. On Instagram Live, flashing a gun. This time, in a car with a friend. A lot of young people don't understand that just because your name is on the check means that you are in control. If your name's not on the bottom of the check, if you didn't sign the check, you work for somebody just like all of us do. Howard Robertson is the CEO of Trust Marketing and Communications in Memphis. He's the brains behind this public service announcement. Don't lose your head, use your head, man. The goal, to reduce crime across a city plagued by violence. He says while Morant's actions are not illegal, he may face consequences with his employer, the Grizzlies, and the NBA. For everything you do, there's a consequence. There's a consequence. So you got to pay for it. Memphis rapper Al Capone rose to fame in the 90s. He knows firsthand the challenges of navigating fame and fortune. Through my career, I actually, I was careful about not getting caught up in uh, certain things. He also understands the impact his decisions have on those who look up to him. Of course, his popularity is, is, is uh, you know, it's on the level of the way we saw Jordan. And he's just getting started. So 
you know, having that level of popularity, uh, it does come with uh, a level of being a role model. Al Capone says Memphis is a city where people may need to be uh, armed to protect themselves. He suggests that John Morant hire armed security to protect him and those around him. That is Fox 13's Dominique Dillon live tonight from FedEx Forum. Thank you, Dominique. Joining us now is senior NBA insider for The Athletic and, and Stadium, Shams Sharonia. Thank you so much uh, for joining us this morning. I mean, I think the big question that we come, what comes from this is the fact that it just happened and now we're seeing it again. Uh, were you surprised by this? What's your sense of it? I think everyone around the league was really stunned because this just happened about a couple months ago and Adam Silver met with John Morant and essentially told him that this cannot happen. This should not happen again. And John Morant confessed and, and was convincing that he understood the gravity of the mistake. The first time when he was intoxicated at a Denver nightclub, it came out in the investigation that the league had that he was intoxicated. Mm. He did flash a gun. And so John Morant owned up to it in the moment and everyone thought that it had moved on. But now that it, it happens, two months later, he got suspended for eight games the first time. And I believe around the league and even around the Grizzlies, there is concern, there's belief that this is going to be a serious suspension that John Morant will be given if this, if this investigation indeed shows that this was his gun, that he flashed. Um, over the weekend. But for, for John Moran, this is clearly somewhat of a, so a pattern of behavior. And it's not that he's breaking a law in Denver. He, was, he wasn't charged with anything in that nightclub. The police investigated as well. There doesn't appear to be any sign that he violated any law over the weekend, but it's really a morality uh, that, that, that he's going to violate and break. Yeah. And that includes with the league, um, because for them, uh, conduct detrimental to the league is the reason why he was suspended the first time and why they're looking into it now. Yeah. And just you bring up Adam Silver, the commissioner. He's a leader uh, to whom that matters a lot. H having known him and you cover him, do you think that Adam Silver will say, look, we talked once, we sat down, you made a guarantee to me, enough, right? A, a severe suspension, as you said. Yeah, and honestly, I think John ja Moran is a pathological liar because he just, he knows exactly what he's doing. He talks himself out of, the, out of things. He thinks that he can get away with anything. Um, <sighs> you know, this guy, I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt, but it just seems like he's bad news and not worth the risk for the Memphis Grizzlies, um, nor for the NBA. I think he should be suspended for a, a whole season, not just 42 games of, or, of what I'm hearing the suspension in terms are going to be. He needs to sit out a whole season, but... My fear is that the more time that he sits out, the deeper he gets into the streets. Suggested. Do you expect that's what's to come? For sure. And, and this will be an Adam Silver call. The commissioner has essentially the power to make any ruling he wants on a suspension. And so with John Morant, he's, he met with him face to face, I'm told. And, and that message was delivered to John Morant. And so now that he's, he's done it again, I think the league has to look at this greatly, and there's a lot of concern, again, with the Grizzlies, even internally, that this will result in a serious suspension. Of course, the fear would be a full season that you would lose him, but this is not similar to Gilbert Arenas. This gun was not brought to the arena. This gun was not pointed at anyone, was not flashed to a teammate at an arena. This was done at his own time, and it's important to know this is not a leaked video. This is But he's he has pointed a weapon at other NBA players like I detailed when it comes to the Indiana Pacers incident. So even though they didn't directly see the gun, we all know it was that red beam, that red dot coming from the barrel of a firearm. This is something that John Morant, people around him, are openly publicly displaying his action. Yo, what's good BGZM News 17 family? I'm at the corner of Jesse Jackson and Marcus Garvey, and I got some bad news for you. As you can see, I lost my job. I'm out here living in cardboard boxes, outside of boarded up vacant homes. YouTube said, I'm done getting money out here in these streets. They even took my funky ass suit. So anything right now would help. So go ahead 
It hit that Cash App. Hit that PayPal. Hit that GoFundMe. Hell, cop the merch. Or if you want to make the long-term commitment to the Jinquavius Jackson Fund, join the Patreon so that I can continue to put out top-notch content each and every day. Also, <laughs> check out the Rumble where there is absolutely no censorship. Link in the description box below. Hey, yo, 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 ain't that that, that nigga did Quavius? Yo, I recognize No, that's Quavius. not me no Anywhere. more. Hey, yo, run your pocket. Y'all tell me what they say. Do the opposite of Antonio Brown and take what all your What more do you want from me? More trouble for NBA star John Morant. He's been suspended again after a video online shows him holding a gun just two months after a similar incident led to an eight-game suspension. Eva Pilgrim is here with the latest. Good morning to you, Eva. Good morning, guys. The Memphis Grizzlies suspending their star guard for the second time in two months, both suspensions for very similar behavior, flashing a gun on social media. Mm. Morant splits the defense. Oh, my goodness. Memphis Grizzlies star John Morant once again in trouble. You know what the biggest issue here is? It's self-inflicted. In the since-deleted Instagram live video posted to a friend's account, you see the point guard in a car singing along to a song when for a split second he appears to be flashing a gun. The video quickly spreading on social media. The Grizzlies releasing a statement saying, we are aware of the social media video involving John Morant. He is suspended from all team activities pending league review. It's infuriating for the NBA that a, a young man with this potential, with this star power, keeps getting into the same trouble, uh, trouble that is clear to him he, he is going to be punished for, and he keeps doing it again and again. Yep, I mean... This is the constant struggle that we in the community face. <clears throat> you know, seeing that line and sprinting with a full head of steam straight through it. You know, chance after chance after chance. And you got to sit back and just wonder. When are we just going to stop giving these guys chances? Okay? Because I still see, hear people in the media, Ja can be saved. He still can do the work, the inner work that he needs to do. Doesn't seem like he really wants to or, he, or he's the slightest bit interested in improving his mentality. Staying away from the street activity. Changing his circle of friends. Creating generational wealth. I mean, if you want to know what the community will do with reparations, look at the NBA. Look at the NFL. It tells you exactly right there. Yeah. Morant just coming off an eight game suspension due to a previous Instagram live video that he shared where the 23 year old is seen with a handgun at a club hours after his team lost to the Denver Nuggets. The star apologizing for the incident. Well, the gun wasn't mine. Um, no, it's not who I am. I don't. And I, I just want to kind of hone down on this. He, he said the gun wasn't his. Isn't that snitching? Ain't that snitching? Because now we're dealing with the process of elimination. So if it wasn't yours, and you had one other homie with you. Whose could it be? We're condoning you know, any type of violence, um, but I take you know full responsibility you know for my actions. Um, made a you know bad mistake, but you know in the future um, I'm gonna show everybody who Ja really is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm about, and show everybody who Ja really is. I mean, speaking in third person is definitely a signal of narcissistic personality traits, and I know that word is continually being over overused but this guy he just can't seem to see past himself and always makes himself the victim um, you know, change this narrative morant releasing a statement at the time that he was going to take some time away to get help and work on learning better methods of dealing with stress and my overall well-being 
Morant was also under scrutiny for two other alleged incidents. He is not facing any criminal charges, and Morant denies any wrongdoing. Now, the Grizzly season is over, so any possible punishment from the NBA likely won't take effect until next season. Michael will have to wait and see what kind of suspension they hand down. Yeah, something I'm sure is going to happen. I want to bring in ABC News contributor, Sirius XM radio host Mike Muse for more on this. Mike, thanks for coming. She go. Coming on, you know, that was just a few weeks ago that Ja told ESPN that he wanted to change the narrative around him after his past mistakes. And he said, I'm going to show everybody who Ja really is. So what do you make of this happening now? This is something I, I can't quite wrap my head around. Uh, the fact that Ja is one of the most talented NBA players uh, that is currently playing. Um, ja has an NBA IQ that is extremely high. Uh, and John is someone who's extremely respected by his peers within the NBA, as well as the fans. He had an incredible showing um, against the first round against the Los Angeles Lakers, where LeBron James said that he's unstoppable. And so the fact of this keeps happening, and again, a self-inflicted uh, moment, I, I just can't call it. You know, a part of me wants uh, to hear from him um, to figure out if you know, he said he wanted to change the narrative. Did he get the help that he needed? Does he need more help? Um, and I'm hoping as the NBA begins to help, <laughs> this is how they continue to perpetuate the victim mindset as if he needs to, I mean, he's a multimillionaire. What, what does he need help with? What does he need help with? To uh, put down any um, disciplinary action they may have, I hope they corresponded with any help uh, that he may need uh, to make sure he's getting the adequate help that he needs for behavioral change. Now, Mike, he's not facing any criminal charges here, so why suspend him? You know, the NBA uh, is, a, is a league that is a, a global brand. Um, it is something that is watched by all individuals and is intergenerational when, when it comes to that. Uh, the NBA and, and players you know, have a moral clause that they have to, that is a part of the deal when they sign up for the NBA. Um, and so this is something that is being called into question um, where the NBA could uh, suspend uh, him and use that clause uh, as grounds. Mm. How big is this at this point? What's on the line for him? Diane, there's so much on the line. Uh, he has shoe deals that are on the line. Um, contracts and contracts extensions uh, are on the line. Um, th there's just a lot that is surrounding him because uh, he is so young within the NBA. And so his earning potential is so high within the NBA and outside the NBA when it comes to endorsement deals. You know, brands want to make sure that they partner and sign athletes on that, that are what we call like family friendly, right? That can really represent a brand well, where they know they won't have any complications such as what we're seeing right now. Um, so there is a lot on the line for him, possibly his contract within the NBA, in addition to uh, brand partnerships outside of the NBA. Mike, what about for the team? How careful do they have to you know, consider how they deal with this and how much is up to the team versus the NBA? <sighs> Ooh, that's a really great question. Um, I'll, I'll take it from a different couple points. One from the team a, a, as a cohesive unit um, and as the players and coaches and staff, uh, Ja is the key piece of that team. Uh, ja is the, the, the spirit of that team. Uh, he is one of the most athletic players, not just on that team, but on that league. Um, and that's a good point. He is the leader of the team. He's the spirit of the team, um, and to me, I would say that uh, Stephen Adams is like the, uh, maybe like the father of the team. He's the, you know, the old man that's been around, done this a couple times, and he kind of keeps people in check, and he's the guy who does the speeches to hold people accountable. But the thing is, when you have a teammate like Ja Morant, and I've had teammates like Ja Morant in my um, career playing sports, these guys, they don't respect authority. They don't listen to, you know, your <laughs> direction or, or constructive criticism to try and get them to see straight or, or do the right thing. They, th these guys, 
They don't care, man. They just want to do what they want to do when they want to do it. Okay? Then the dynamic of the front office and the general managers and the sense of how do they want to handle that? You know, for me, I'm hoping they look at it as a way of balancing both uh, just very actions, but as well as surrounding him with help and support uh, that he may need. And hopefully this could be possibly a cry for help. The league is also... How the hell is this a cry for help? He didn't need help picking that gun up and dangling it and pointing it as a, at his own head. You know, like I said before, the community lacks firearms, safety, training, direction, um, motivation, whatever you want to call it. And it's killing us. Literally. These super athletic gremlins are on. Demon time. Too involved, um, and the league can have the final say uh, in what should take place with this. All right, we'll be keeping an eye on it. ABC News contributor Mike Muse. Always great to have you, Mike. Thank you. Good to see you.